Right, only as the music is ending do I realize that apparently it's been echoing the whole time because apparently it was playing in the preview thing of the dashboard, which apparently shows up uh, automatically now because I certainly didn't tell it to appear. Alrighty, so this is a most irregular time. An occasion for me to have a stream of any description, at least at this point, in the corridors of time in general, by which I mean right now. Compared to the rather lax regularity I've been streaming with over the past several weeks due to a crippling workload, a workload which Theoretically, I should no longer have by this time tomorrow. But which I do have right now, and I still have not dealt with completely, therefore... It's probably not very wise for me to be doing this right now, but... I've opted to seize this opportunity, if only because theoretically it shouldn't take me too long... ...to do so, and take advantage of it, and also because, you know... Of what this is, which I suppose I'll get into in just a moment. Basically, this is uh, this is called Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. It is an 8-bit prequel game to an up-and-coming game, hmm. which I might have to restart, unfortunately, because I didn't don't have the controller plugged in right now, and I kind of want to use it. Hang on. But yes. Bloodstained Ritual of Night is, you know, the spiritual successor to Castlevania, pretty much. The Metroidvania games had been released, and uh, it is kind of the whole reason I had my half a year long Castlevania marathon. I believe I'm gonna have to restart this, so excuse me for just one moment. Uh, just close the window here. Yeah. The whole reason I had the Castlevania Marathon last year to start with, to kind of build up to it. And... Now that it is theoretically nearing completion even more, or at least more so than it was before, which is kind of a, you know, kind of a given with how these things work. This 8-bit uh, prequel game, which was one of the stretch goals for the Kickstarter, I believe, has just been released with uh, surprisingly little fanfare, surprisingly little um, anticipation at that. It's developed by Integrates, I believe, which is part of the whole outfit that's helping to put out uh, Bloodstained, the main game, that is. And there they are. Alright, let's see if it works now. Up, down, left, right. Sure. Attack, sub. Mm hmm. There we go. But rather than being a throwback to the conventional Metroidvania games, this is more of a throwback to the classic Vania games, specifically from what I've seen Castlevania 3. And from what I've seen, it expresses that kind of nostalgic throwback uh, thing quite well. So, you know, without further ado, well, I say without further ado, but no, I kind of want to listen to this title screen music a little more since it seems to be an 8 bit transition of. I'm unsure of what the name of this song is, but it was also the song of the. The title screen in the one and only demo that has been released to backers such as myself of the main Bloodstained game back a while ago. I forget exactly when. More demos have been released at some events, but sadly none of those have gone out to backers. But I hear, you know, that sometime in, I believe it's like the first or right after the end of the first week of June, we should be getting more news as to release date of either the next demo, which I believe should be the beta pretty much, or the full game, or maybe both, I forget the details, but basically news on the full game should be... oh dear. 
should be forthcoming. I see we're getting a host from Lambda. 2.23 a.m. So, thanks for that. Don't know if she's actually here. I don't know if the sun looped yet or not, but, you know, just in case. Let me stall for just a little longer, because I am very, very interested in the kind of music they're going to be doing, making for these games, since... I do believe that it was mostly composed by... Uh, okay, Lambda's not here, I see. Well, there you go. Composed by Michio Yamane and others. Michio Yamane being the main kind of uh, mainline composer for Metroidvania games ever since. Uh, I believe it was Harmony of no Symphony of the Night. Maybe a little earlier actually. I think she also did music for. Actually, no, I f she did music for Bloodlines too, I believe. But I, I think that came out after Symphony of the Night, so I don't even know exactly when that began, but anyway, I think it's safe to say that the loop has ended by this point, so let's take a look. Options. I'm playing with controller. Solution X3. Can I improve? Um, X4. Yeah, there we go. So that I can... I can actually... I'll see better, you don't really see any change in, change in the stream, I don't believe, because it's just like... It's just blowing up the kind of... pixely... artwork. But I see a difference. What do I think of the game? I don't know. I'm about to play it now. It just unlocked, so... Hmm. Control settings, even though I'm pretty sure that was before... Oh. Hang on, let me... Cancel, I guess. It should already be configured. It's the very first thing that it did. Alright, so let's start the game now. What? What of, uh, how many of these are there? Eight. Alrighty then. Try the game under certain conditions to unlock this mode. Same goes for the other one, so it seems. Can you watch? Sure. Just don't make a mess. Veteran or casual? Easy going style laps around the middle and taking damage will not knock back the player. Hmm. There is no penalty for selecting this style. Well, to be perfectly honest, I do want to try out Veteran eventually, but this is the freaking, what do you call it? Like, if you remember my Castlevania Marathon, even with the NES games, I did not quite play them vanilla, so I'm just gonna go for casual for now. I am not ashamed of my choices here. Alrighty then. There was once a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. That man was Sangetsu. Wrapped in crimson garb with eyes like fire, he relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. One night, he sensed the looming presence of a great demon. This one was different, you see. He swore to eradicate all demons, no matter how much of a threat they posed. Bathed in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within his, within its wretched steel. Excuse me. On that night, either the demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. So, is he saying that he'll kill them and the night? Is that what I am to draw from that? I will not quite to the level of creating a bad world filled with evil, but. And not quite up to, you know, having the, like, film reel background for the story, backstory. But still a pretty good throwback, and this even more so. Oh boy. Now well, let's get right into the game, I suppose. Moonlight Temptation, boy, it has, like, Rondo of Blood style. Text intro, oh boy. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, so my 
Even though I'm playing on like the fill the cash hole mode, and the different ones that I have a limited lives yet, and I don't get knocked back. I do notice who trains. I do notice that uh, I cannot like change my trajectory during a jump, so that's pretty, you know, classic Vania. I'm pretty, f you know, faithful to actual physics, so I guess I can live with that. Alrighty then. Hmm. Okay, so that takes three weapon things. Instead of hard shot, there's like these little blue vials, I suppose. At this, this very Castlevania one so far, I guess. Where the castle entrance with all these zombies coming at you. And I see we got the stairs. Not quite the same stilted uh, stair climbing action as in like old school Castlevania, but. Pretty up there. Hmm. Maybe I should be searching for wall meat, you know, if I had to guess. I would imagine that would not be out of the cards for this. And we have time for this stage. No, we do not. Okay, so I can take my time exploring, which I'm quite glad about, because that's certainly something I want to do at this moment. Hmm. Something I did notice, too, from like some of the preview pictures and the trailers, is that apparently some of the enemies in these are... Um, might, like, match up with... Hang on. But they're just get Oh, hello. It's like... Holy water, I guess. Might be the same as some of the enemies from the other Bloodstained demo, which were like... These are just like generic rats, but I think there's like zombie creatures back there and these ghosts. I don't remember what they were supposed to be called in the Bloodstained demo proper, but... Ah, uh, what do you call Hello. Speak of the devil. Even though there's nothing there, actually. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what to do is with that. I think those zombies were like these liquid darkness type creatures called the Morte that were in that other demo. If I am to be to go off of that assumption, so let me see. Just a moment here. Do you notice this door off to the right? Hmm. But I don't know if I should go straight for that or go up here. I guess I'm gonna take the stairs. I'm not even sure. Oh, hello. I was gonna say I'm not even sure if I can. Uh, can I talk to you? I can use some weapons with a Y button. However, that will require weapon points. Perhaps I can find magic potion to restore my weapon points. Okay, so I guess this assumes you've never played a Castlevania game. Different colored lamps contain various sub weapons I can use. I can remain devoted to the sword. Is this a different sub weapon? No, it isn't. Okay. Is this a different sub weapon? Oh, it's like the whip thing. And I guess these blue skull lamps are like... They attack you. We call a wall meat recipe. Mm, okay. So that's, I guess, written in the sign there. I guess the skeleton pointing was... Just trying to draw my attention to that. Mm. Mm. So is that thing like gonna shoot eventually if I... Close or no, I guess only if I line up with it horizontally. That's pretty Castlevania, I suppose. Hang on, let's let's be wily about this. Let's do it the Castlevania four way. So do have that diagonal option. Oh, okay, I made it onto the train. Or Shredbear. Also, hello, default. There's more of these deep shit zombie things and more of some of those falling chandeliers, which I don't think were in Castlevania 3, but they were in Castlevania 4. I guess I'm just gonna dash on through. Seems to be the what they want me to do here. Oh, I say dash on through, but I don't fully trust them. I kinda want to gingerly approach each one just in case it will fall early, which I would not put past it. I would not discard as a possible oh shit. And then immediately afterwards that happens, you get to fucking know what those are supposed to be, but I guess they're the game's response to the Black Panthers from uh, classic Castlevania games. Hmm. Alright, let's continue on then. Alrighty. Hmm. I guess I want this. I'm just gonna go with whatever the game throws at me for now. Oh boy, we got. Not dragon heads, I think they're called Morticans. 
Can I decounter them? I can try to decounter them, but much like in Gasolina 3, it doesn't actually do shit. I need to knock the fireballs away. Okay, I was lucky. Do notice that, you know, in, in the absence of any kind of wall meat or anything, not come across any kind of healing item yet. I don't know how well that's gonna end up treating me. Is that an option? It is an option, alright. I attempt to be a smartass, I suppose. There we are. So, this guy. Can I attack him? No. Guess he's just there to tell me where to go. Oh, there's that old door opening animation and sliding into. Oh, okay, I guess that big heart is a healing item. Oh, so that makes a little more sense, I don't know. It's a little weird to play like a classic Castlevania style game where you can actually find healing items that aren't like extremely hidden. But I guess if you go by like, oh shit, Castlevania 4 logic where sometimes you had like little small chicken legs in the, the torches, but the big uh, full pot roast type things, they were only hidden in the bowls. That's small meat, oh boy. Mm, oh dear, okay, I think I see what I gotta do. Yep, here. All I have seen right now is like, oh fuck. Oh, okay, that didn't hurt me somehow. Hmm, feels like there should be a little more margin of uh, warning for that. Kind of feels like you can't really uh, get away from that all that quick. Don't see that much. I just realize I can do this too, I mean. Okay, so that can't hurt me. Goodness me, yeah. I feel like you can't really move sideways quickly enough to necessarily be able to get away from that if, uh, you know, it's coming down right on top of you. Well, there we go. Also, feel a little bit weird that you can't really, can't really get an indicator of like how much health the boss has left, like you're doing. Oh shit! Okay. Well, I guess that was like the death throw attack. And I think I do recall some bosses in Castlevania 3 doing that, so there's that. And I do recall, I definitely recall some bosses in uh, Castlevania Rondo of Blood, I think it was doing that, so. What have we here? Oh, it's just the protagonist of the actual main game. Thank you for saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? You're a shard binder. That power can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Wait, it is true that I am a shard binder. However, I have sworn to be ever righteous in my command of this power. I refuse to be used for evil. And show me the proof of that determination in battle. Alright. Miriam has become an ally. I wonder if we're gonna be able to, like, only have certain allies during a playthrough depending on, like, how we hmm. how we play the game, like if there are branching paths or anything like that. I'll follow the remains of fallen adventurers to lead me in the right direction. Each of my allies had their own stamina. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's different. Like I don't think in Castlevania 3, like the separate characters have separate health bars. Only be used by a certain person. No one else could pick them up. All right. Web smash, X button, high jump, A button, slide. Okay, she can slide. So she's more like the, um... Okay, she can't do like diagonal whipping or anything. But she can jump high. Slightly higher. I guess we're gonna be using her for a bit. So we need a turkey. Oh boy. <laughs> Something tells me that that ship at the far right end is not going to be the end of things. Alrighty, frigid hell. I also kind of wonder if you like, uh, if this actually saves your progress. Oh shit. Hello. That was... It's kind of a huge creature for being destroyed so easily, if you ask me, but... I 
feel like there was something else I wanted to say a minute ago, but I completely forgot how it was. Let's just continue on then. Now, I do notice that even though there are certain things that uh, would be like characteristic of a classic Castlevania game, like uh, like the enemy's health bar and what else? There's one more thing that jumped to my mind. It'll be like a timer, I guess. Time limit for the stage, which I don't know. Maybe some of the extra modes have that, or the timer at least. If they don't have like the the boss health up, oh, fuck. Thing in the easiest difficulty. Oh, okay. I really don't know if we're gonna have that in the. the I, I, what? I can only assume to be higher difficulties. I'll take care of you. So I can't, like, jump down from the. The, um. What the fuck is this? Can't jump down from the stairs either. So we're definitely going old school here, you know, can't alter my jump trajectory, you know, jump down from the stairs, or drop down from the stairs. Well, shit. At this point I realized I just pressed the wrong button and I probably just wasted that. Whatever that was. Uh, well, maybe not, I mean, it looks like I can keep using it with... I'm gonna make it though. Like, I'm supposed to go that way, but what if I don't want to go that way? Go back and forth between there and there. Okay. Hmm, guessing this is like the normal Castlevania knife, which is like the shittiest sub weapon. In classic Castlevania, at least, I'm not sure how much that applies. See, we found like the fucking axe armor here. But maybe more. more along the lines of the armor knights, which are very, very annoying to fight in the. Classic style games because they have a lot of range and agility. Hmm. I should no, I don't know. See, there's like multiple routes to follow, but I mean, I am being pointed to this one up here. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to follow the yellow brick road for the first time, at least. Where might this go? I can't go back through, can I? Nope. I'm stuck on this path now. Oh shit, it's fucking it. shadows of the approaching uh, Mervyn from Castlevania 3. I did not miss this. Well, I guess I'm doing okay now. Hmm, I don't know that for you. Which I'm guessing uh, I haven't really tested this theory, nor am I terribly eager to do so now. Fuck. No, but I'm pretty sure that if I fall down any of these bottomless pits, I just die, even though it appears that some of them should have terrain under them. Okay. Oh, thank goodness for fucking Miriam's long range attack, because if I didn't have that, I'm pretty sure it would be like terrible. And not just in a visual way. Hurt them when the horrible monster bath is extended, so it appears. Oh, fuck. Okay, so no, I noticed too that Sangetsu has more health, but uh, no, yes, let's reach and no agility. Okay. I can be smart and try to keep all of my characters' health fully stocked, I suppose. Which I guess that other path could have been an alternative route. Oh, you want to call it? So, something I'm kind of wondering about is uh, if I notice the, if I break the special kind of uh, torches that give me oh, fuck, that give me some weapons. Wonder if uh, like the character that I'm using when I break them determines whether they're, they're going to be able to pick that up or like. Yeah, I think so. Like, I mean, if I break a, one of those torches as Miriam, I'm guessing I will un it will only produce a weapon that can be used by Miriam. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Oh, shit. Shit, okay. At least I can... I'm pretty sure if I had knockback, I would have been death right there, so that saved me. My 
refusal to meet a challenge head on. Hello, what the fuck is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just got the fucking boomerang cross. F full screen range. Oh, shit. And I can certainly see why I would want that. These guys are bullshit. Kinda wondering how you would counter that if, I, if you didn't have this weapon. Yeah, we're gonna need this weapon to take care of this joker down here. I'll do some of the cheap way at the very least. There we go. So what do we got in there? That's what we got in there, and... I guess we can slide in there only with Miriam. And that might have been like an upgrade for our... Uh, potion capacity, I guess. I notice it's gone up from 40 to 50 now. So I'm guessing I'm gonna wanna be after as many of those as I can find. Okay, now we got the axe. Oh, okay, that's not what I thought it would be. I thought it would be like the Castlevania axe, or just like shooting an arc. What did I not expect these? things to be down here. But then again, I'm pretty sure that was intentional. Oh, okay, guess we made it to the boss. Who is he gonna be, I wonder? Hmm, some kind of turtle creature. Now this is probably, if I had to imagine from... Is that like Dagon from Portrait of Ruin, I guess? Oh shit, okay. That was all complete luck that I'm not getting hit by that. Oh, okay, and it had to end eventually, I suppose. Okay, take this, take this. I sure hope I don't run out of the weapon anytime soon. Okay, I ran out of the weapon. And I'm also almost out of health, so let me switch over to this other character who has more health. Did I do it? Or was that just a fake out? Or is he gonna do like a suicide move now? Maybe, just like the first guy. Okay, it did the suicide move. Well, I guess we can expect that from every boss from here on out, I guess. So, like, a bit like Dagon from Portrait of Ruin, but with Wyvern strats from Rondo of Blood. Who is this guy? I would be defeated by a demon. I have been thoroughly humiliated. I am Alfred, an alchemist. Alchemist, you use demons to fulfill your worldly desire. Okay, I'm sensing a slight, uh, slight animosity towards our protagonist here towards every other character he's gonna encounter. Every achievement requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? My power may be of use to even you. Your existence is unsettling to me, but your skills are not without value. I'll leave your head where it is for now. And Alfred has become an ally. And we can have all the allies together, I guess, so we don't have to, like, split up into rocks. Mm-hmm. Impossible terrain. Fork in the path. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Let me... Repeat that. Can't determine the shortcut. Oh, okay, so if... Hmm, so I guess you could do like a challenge run where you don't follow where the skeletons point you to? Well, I don't know, this is like the first time playing, so... I'll try to follow the recommended path for now, I guess. So weapon, I can only be his version. I think i figured out how that works. So what can he do? Buster Rod. There's alchemy. And that's it, so basically this is the Sypha character, or not Sypha, or yes Sypha, what did I think it was? I don't know. So, I don't know, like, either Sangetsu or Miriam is... He kind of got the role of quasi-Trevor and quasi-Grant split between them, and... 
Alfred here is quasi safer. Yep, feels like safer, alright. Wonder how long this is gonna last for. Okay, there it goes. Don't mind me. Just gonna take a stroll here. I'm gonna get a different scroll. I really wonder what that does. I'm guessing that's the one character that we haven't met yet who... I'm pretty sure I already know who it is if all the, you know, previews have been any indication. It's gonna be Quasi Alucard. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get you. There we go. Hmm, okay. Okay, that could have been bad. But I'm too much of a... a wily... Hang on. Oh shit, that track I was gonna say, how the fuck do I... Oops. Too much of a wily guy to allow that to happen. Being outsmarted by monsters? Oh fuck, okay. Oh, scratch that. Where are my dudes? Full health here. Okay, what is this? Why does this guy look different? We're not gonna find out. So I guess he has the most health, and these two have less health, so I should probably like have him out for exploration. Okay, I guess this is the shortcut. So lead on, I guess. Oh fuck! Don't know why I thought that. Hang on, I got this. There we go. Hello, what the fuck are you? Oh, I see. It's like a bee pig. It explodes. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, I sure I'm glad that I have more health now. Hmm. Nope, this time I will go this, this way. So I was like double hitbox head to there. Oh dear. Alright. Oh thank goodness for my lightning fast reflexes. Come on. I see that bat up there. I know I see that bat up there. Hang on. If I jump here with like okay, I will not aggro the bat. I guess we'll take care of that guy first and then There we go. Try to get Sangetsu back up to speed, I suppose. Probably a good idea. Can't get this. I am determined. There we go. Oh, shit, he could have used that. But in my defense, I had no idea that would be there. Huh, I do like that double hitbox thing I can apparently do. Okay, so they have different health bars, but they will share one pool of, like, uh, weapon points, I suppose. Oh, goddammit, again. So I'm just gonna stick with Miriam for now, though. I suppose she has, like, Characters, so it would appear. Okay, so this archer, does he shoot more than one arrow at a time? It doesn't look like he does. Oh no, never mind. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go that way unless... Okay, I was, I was gonna say unless... Oh, here's a double unless. Never mind, now I'm going that way. I was gonna say unless I can use the fire shield thingy that uh, Alfred has, but no. I, I noticed that he doesn't actually have that right now. I see these stairs down here, but... Don't know if I should, uh... Use them right now. Okay. Don't think you're gonna get away from me. Oh, goodness. Okay. with this fucker. You know, I'm pretty... I'm almost entirely certain... i tell you right now, I'm gonna try to play this again eventually with the, uh... You know, the forgiving physics not turned on. I'm probably not gonna be dreading that part, but... It's what I get. Hmm. I guess I'll go that way. 
There are arrows pointing me towards this door after all. What reason have I to believe that uh, they are to be distrusted? Okay, finally I can get this guy back up to full health. I'm gonna stick with Miriam though, she seems like just the most versatile of the sub weapons. So I can't go that way, nope. Only one way to go from here, it seems. Hello. I'll take that. Which I think benefited everyone, so you know. Sure, I'll take these. I really like these throwing knives. They have a lot of versatile range. And oh dear, I think we find the Medusa heads on this stage. That's not so nice. Come on, show up. There we go, so I can leave you behind. Haha. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. That's why there was nothing there. It's kind of scripted walk off. And then this happens. I find a fucking giant Scrooge McDuck sea of coins under the pyramid with a guy with uh yeah, Well you know that it's a weak point, just like with the first boss. This hat, which doesn't really seem very um very associated with a sort of ancient Egyptian ruin motif, if that's what they were going for here. I have no idea if they were. Oh, goodness. Oh, uh, okay, I see it. I did not realize that could, I could do that. That was complete blind fortune that saved me there. Oh, dear. What is this, Warrior Land 3? Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Okay, now it's the uh, Sunken King DLC from Dark Souls 2. Sunken <laughs> Golden Eagle Clones. I could just be spamming this from down here, but I kind of want to avoid doing that if only for the... the assumption that I would eventually do this with that. Oh dear, not being an option. Right, I'm guessing those coins are gonna hurt me if, uh, you know, you go by, the, by every boss up until now, having had some kind of suicide move. Okay, suicide move. And I don't really see how I could have avoided that last little hit when the screen went white, but. Well, you know. It was all an illusion, it was actually corpses all along. It really shows you that money is the root of all evil. Alright, so. Could this be? Except I'm pretty sure I already know. Cursed Shardbinder, you carry the power of numerous demons. It's almost like you're the villain of the main game. Very perceptive of you. I require the demon's power to achieve my revenge. At this moment, our objectives align. Cooperation would be fruitful for us both. So be it. I'll let you continue breathing for now. Jeebel has become an ally. How we know his name, we have no idea, but apparently we do. Barely exchanged, wor exchanged words with him too, so... Oh, he has the same fucking attack as Alucard in... In, um... Yeah, I know. It's just it's exactly the same thing every time. In Castlevania 3, summon darkness, immortal metaf metamorphosis, and siphon blood during metamorphosis, and quake ascent during metamorphosis. Alright. We don't have any weapon points, so we can't turn into a bat yet. Which, you know... As if that wasn't... particularly evident, that was also Alucard's special ability in Castlevania 3, turning into a bat. And I'm pretty sure he attacked by throwing bats too, right? Blasphemy into heaven. And so... Yes, but... Same amount of health, actually a little less health than... Uh, I almost said Shanoa, but no, Miriam does. So I'll try using him for a little bit. See how he controls. Um, yeah, it looks like each one of his three bats that he throws out has... Uh, kind of separate damage inflicting entity, so... If you didn't like... Oops, okay. That was unfortunate. If they might all hit the enemy at the same time, then they're probably not gonna... as effective as they could. Okay, that's a solid obstacle I did not realize. So, I don't know. Hmm. This 
not really that great for fighting stuff that comes at you vertically. I don't remember if like the bats that Alucard throws in Gasolina 3, which is, because I'm pretty sure that he does the same thing. I don't remember if they were like vertical if, or if they go uh, or horizontal rather, or if they go up in an arc like Jeevo here does. Keep having to duck when these Medusa head type eyes come after me. Alright. Mm. Alright, I think what they want me to do here is this. There we go. I will. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. We found the two X armors now. Okay, so something that is good about the, the trajectory of the bats that G will has, I guess, is that he has like unlimited diagonal up attack. Whereas some of the other characters only have that when they have certain sub weapons. So I definitely appreciate that. Oh, dear. oh fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I gotta tell you, maybe maybe it's just the difficulty I have this on, which is like the easiest difficulty from what I saw. But so far, this feels a little more like, say, Shovel Knight than hmm, old school Castlevania in some aspects. I mean, it does feel very much like Castlevania overall, but. Oh shit. See, that's kind of a problem if you have this guy and then. Let me just switch to Miriam again. Have this guy and there's there's like something in the ground directly in front of me, you can't really get to it. You can also use this one. Or okay, hang on, how much range does the not a lot of range. Okay. Very low range that is. But then again I can do this, so. I do like having all of these characters available. Uh I can be wily undo this, and I can also note that there's a terrible thing way over there that's just waiting for me to... You know, let me see if I can be a clever boy about this. Nope, not quite. It doesn't go quite as far as I would have liked it to. Hmm, okay, it doesn't quite reach that far, but... But that does, okay. Hmm. So are those... Black things that dash at you that are supposed to be like the like the Black Panthers from Castlevania, but not quite. I guess they're supposed to be like dogs. Maybe, maybe I should uh, use watch his face a little more, Alfred. And oh, okay, I was lucky. Try to get that other power that he had, which was the oh no, this is a different scroll. I haven't seen this one before. Oh, that's what that one does. Let me see if I can use that one against this. Oh, okay. Can I walk on him now? I wonder. Oh, fuck. If I had knocked back there, would I have been able to... to... like, damage boost myself over here, I wonder. Maybe not. Maybe it does that thing that it did in, like, old school Castlevania, where... I don't know this is the power I want, I'm pretty sure, so I'll go ahead and keep that. Oh, shit. Fuck are these things like Fleeman, I guess, but they're like purple frogs instead. Oh, hang on, I need that. Did I even get that for Al Alfred or... Yeah, I did, okay. Time to try to survive now. Oh, thank goodness they keep giving you health, these things, because you're down. Also fall very quickly, I notice. Like, drop like a rock. You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna switch to Miriam. I keep wanting to call her Shanoa. It'll probably be to figure out why that is. You know, that room wasn't particularly long. It kind of felt that way. Okay. Things I sure can, but I can't reach this thing on the ground in front of me. Oh dear. Can you see what I see? Hang on, I, I got this. There we go. Oh no, I will not admit that. Thank you very much. Alright. Alright. Here we are. Okay, now I need to get some health back for Jeevil here. So he does 
doesn't even like get anything special from the, the blue torches because he doesn't have any sub weapons, he just has the bad transformation. Can't remember if that was the case or not for um other card. Jesus. Just for this uh, perspective, it's technically a better option to use. Uh, she's not Shinoa, she's Miriam, goddammit. I'm never gonna be able to shake that off. I <laughs> kinda wonder how that's gonna translate to when I actually play the full game. Am I still gonna be wanting to call her Shinoa? That thing up there. It's easy enough to get it, I guess. Hmm. I didn't know they gave me anything I needed, or. Oh, my characters are full health right now, so I don't think that would be the case. Either way. Oh dear. Could be quite a big one, it has indeed become one. Oh, goodness. Well, I just gotta be thankful that these uh, knives they go through solid objects, or else this would be. Oh, okay. I know that just happened. Otherwise, it, this could be a lot more painful. Hey boy, oh shit, that actually hurt me, even though I had my shield up. Okay. Guess that's not as reliable as I thought it would be. This can to take more damage, even though he has a tiny health bar. Uh, you know what? Why not? I'll take that. I like the the arc knives, but I also like the boomerang scythe. Oh fuck! I was trying to duck there and not go on the stairs, but shows what I know. See now, other than the than for the dynamic background, this does feel like that good old, old school bullshit gasolina pl platforming. Ahoy! my ship. Oh, and we got to the bus. I wonder what it could be. How could it be that one other creature that was also shockiest in the, like, screenshots for this game? Well, yes it is. It's like the... It looks like the Orphic Vipers from the water stages in Castlevania 3 and Castlevania 4, but... I am to assume that it is not. Alright. Oh dear, okay. Okay, so far it seems fairly predictable. You just kind of uh, stay out of the way of this bullshit. Now, the way they thrust these orbs at you kind of reminds me of um, the final boss or the final form. Oh fuck, okay. Final form of Dracula in, in uh, the Adventure Rebirth. Oh, is it dead? How is it gonna try to kill me even though I would have killed it? Oh, I uh, should have stayed up there, I guess. Oh. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait, it's not actually dead. Still don't think quick, I suppose. Oh, okay. I'm entirely sure how I could have avoided that. Like, maybe if I. Um... Okay. Just gotta be very, very, very quick in the draw there, I suppose. Give me really enough time to get out of the way. But only if you were expecting it, which I definitely wasn't the first time. And it doesn't seem like it has the same timing every time, actually. Ooh, okay. That's almost bad. Ugh. Oh, but I did it. Okay, I guess this guy has like two main forms and the suicide attack doesn't come at the end because I can't move right now, so it had a suicide attack, I couldn't avoid it. It only comes between the mid form and the final form. Can't be the end of it, can it, surely? Can't be the end of this ship. 
Ooh. Pretty sure I've heard this song, like the non 8 bit version of it, at some point. Oh, shit. Can't remember if it was. No, I think it was in the Bloodstain demo that I played. It was like the main theme of the Galleon, which might be the very same Galleon that we're on right now, so you know. This is supposed to be a prequel game, so maybe this is what leads right into that. Everyone's full health. Yes, they do. Right. We could go up here, and it looks like we can, but what if I want to go over there? Oh, okay, that's a mimic. It seemed oddly suspicious, but that's, um... Can I... hit it? Yes, I can, okay. Oh, I can also sort those web things out of here. That's good. I'm not entirely clear on the details because I've kind of been avoiding uh, stuff about this game on purpose. But this might very well be the... Well, the point in which this people romp ends, and I still haven't found any wall meat, that kind of bothers me. Like, I wouldn't doubt that it's in this game somewhere, but I just haven't been able to look for it as thoroughly as I could have, I guess. Oh, goodness. Hits. Okay, and I can climb up this thing. I don't know, hang on. If I switch, yes, I can do this. I can be cheap about it. Well, you call it cheap, even though you don't actually call it cheap. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, by the way. I don't think I'm addressing anyone in particular, but... What I want to say is, though it may be termed as cheap, I call it uh, strategy. I'm clearly entitled to to do so. Right, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Killing that guy is gonna be worth it. Okay, yeah, these are some of these same enemies that you see in the first demo. This is the Dollhammer. Cool. Shoots very far. That ball and chain of his, much like in Seldo. And he has sufficiently Ample health, that this is kind of pain, okay. He survives hive hits. Well, I will take that. I've missed you guys. My dear, arcing knives. They are a very good weapon. But I hope they do it, what uh, they did in Symphony of the Night, where, uh, and in a few of the other Metroidvanias, where you can have the sub weapons from the classic Castlevanias in the Metroidvania game. Oh dear, is this, is this a nod back to, to the painting that kills you in Rondo of Blood, perhaps? Oh dear. Okay. Does it one hit kill you like in Rondo of Blood? Am I like host now? Oh yes, it appears that is the case. That's unfortunate. Oh well, I have infinite lives. Oh, but fucking Miriam is gone. Hmm, I wonder what this means for me. Does that mean I'm not gonna be able to get her back? Because that would be problematic. And let me... Try and be smart about this. Just Mr. OP Architect here. Okay, I'm just gonna stay safely out of the way like, that, like so. There we go. Gee, I think we might have lost Miriam, that's a shame. Uh, sure. Hmm, I don't think she would have... Actually, wait a minute. It just occurred to me that maybe if fucking... Uh, what's his face? Alfred had the ice attack and... And we still had Miriam with us, maybe I could have frozen that guy and like stood on him and slid past the thing here, but oh well, that's not in the cards anymore, so... 
Better not get hung up over that. I have to take the alternative route. Oh, oh dear. Okay, we're being pushed back by the wind, I guess. It kind of reminds me of some of the enemies from Mario World, the, uh, the flying hammer brothers that just spam shit at you. Or just the normal hammer brothers, I guess. It's got a kind of spammy projectile attitude about it. Alright. Oh, shit. And I'm actually in range of it, which is not a good thing at all. There we go. Can't get on this thing until after it shoots. Or froze. Just in case, maybe. Doesn't matter. Probably does matter, but we're just gonna go ahead and pretend that it's not the case. So I should wonder where we're going through this journey of ages. Goodness. Let's just switch to this guy, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna do head flashbacks every time those things show up. Okay. So which should... Okay. They don't they both need health equally, and at this point I realize that might have been a trap. Okay. Once thing gets to die dead, but I wonder if he's also permanently gone now. It looks like he might be. Okay. Hmm, I'm supposed to have infinite lives though, so I don't know if I only have one character left. What does that mean? Let me just go ahead and use this guy now, because if I want someone to be like my last available character, I would not want it to be this guy. I'm just gonna smack you with my stick. There we go. Like, hmm, there might have been a shortcut that I could have used before, but didn't. Oh, here. Okay, you can also destroy these dudes with the ice attack. Right, maybe I shouldn't be. Oh, fuck. Just walking around everywhere with that guy. Uh, let me go ahead and switch to this teamwork here. That we'll call it. Oh dear. Oh dear, okay. Oh dear, no, you're, st you're still alive, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna say goodbye to you both, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, I see one of those white dragon, bone dragon type creatures. I don't like them. Oh, but I can freeze them. Use him, maybe I can even do this. Oh. Oh, and then accidentally jumped past the thing and missed the heart thing. Okay, that's, you know, clearly what I meant to do there. Never mind me, guys. Alright, so what's over there? Just more money, clearly our biggest uh, concern. Right, fuck, let's just, since we have the, the yellow card XP, let's just cheap out the rest of this. Yep. That's what all my instincts are telling me to do. I get a feeling that the boss of this stage is going to be like, uh, not death. I'm kind of wondering if, like, if I'm being too optimistic about him. I'm wondering if, like, if we beat the stage, are we going to be able to use the characters we lost again? Because we lost both of them in this stage. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. Probably test it out, actually. Okay. Ooh, that's actually quite nice. Ooh, that was... <laughs> it could have been bad if I had fallen off the edge there. Okay, it looks like... I kind of got a little throwback to the fifth stage of Rondo. Where it takes place in the top of a wrecked ship and we get like a death XP, I guess. Let me take this homing attack. It looks like it would be a massive pain to try and hit you without this, to be quite frank with you. Yeah, this looks reasonable. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I lost my life. So now we only got Jeeva left, assuming that that guy doesn't come back and it does not look like he does, so... Oh, boy. So I wonder what fate has in store for me now. Let's just go ahead and cheap this to start off. Just get as many of these as possible and... Expose that scroll in remembrance of my falling guy, and I'm probably gonna die here because I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna fight this boss. All by myself. But I might as well find out. Okay. Guess we can do that, I think. Which... Okay, I can break these. I did not realize I could break those. Oh, shit. That explains how I'm supposed to be able to survive that attack, though. Okay, okay, this could work actually if I'm actually able to hit it when it does that kind of dive thing. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, I can weather it. There we go. Right, fuck it. I think I found the intended way to fight this guy without like cheating it out with the bullshit electric spell that I got for the other guy. Entire clever boy. Destroys my nerves a little bit whenever I have to do it. I wonder how much more he's gonna take though. I do wonder that. Can have been doing that for a while now. now I do miss my boss health indicator. It's something that I am certainly sorely lacking right now. The actual death of the boss, I would very much like it if that were the case. Or am I just being fake faked out? Okay. Oh shit, okay. Okay, I guess that was the actual death of the boss though. Well, it could have been the death of me, but I suppose it was not to be. Okay, I do get my characters back if I beat the stage. That's nice. But now the true stage progression begins, I suppose. Made it to the castle. Okay, never mind, I guess. Doesn't end exactly where the... Or... the fuck am I trying to say? I see we got the boar enemies there. Well, back to my prodigal character, Miriam, I suppose, but... My earlier speculation that the, you know, that ship stage led directly into the beginning of the, uh, the main game was not quite correct. Hmm. Oh no, okay, I did get it. To figure out these poor enemies are gonna keep uh, popping up no matter where I go, so... I as well ignore them if I can. Hang on a minute. It occurs to me I should be searching for wall meat, even though I, like, I don't need it that badly, I get hearts, but... I'm still holding on to the idea that it's hiding somewhere in this game. What is that fist thing? I have no idea. Does that make me, like, stronger? Perhaps. Or I guess they really want me to have the... Um... They really want me to have the... What do you call it? The electric weapon for Alfred right now. Maybe I should be using Sangets instead of Miriam. Because if 
I get thrown into a cheap death like I was in the previous stage, then I could at least not have to suffer the loss of what's probably my most versatile character. Oh, fuck. Boy, I'm gonna give that some terrible stare maneuvers. Just like the good old days. Okay. What am I gonna do with you? Hang on, let me wait for this thing to disappear and then... You know what? Fuck it. Time to cheat this out. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, totally worth it. Okay. I mean, if you know, if I was playing with real Castlevania physics, where this uh, well, any attack knocks me back considerably. Then I would feel a lot more justified in my decision to cheap a lot of that stuff out, to say the least, so... Okay, that takes care of that. Still doesn't feel like I can make that jump though, so here we go. Oh dear. Okay, whatever. Nice revolve. Oh, but, okay, and so did they. I don't trust that red fluid, I really don't want to find out what it does to me when I touch it. Oh dear, is this... is this clock tower? Hmm, hang on. Yep, that's what I thought. That's not quite what I thought. But that is pretty close to what I thought. What I thought was it was... but that it was gonna hurt me but not outright kill me, like what just happened. So, you know. Also notice that fucking Miriam didn't get her health back, oh dear. Not quite sure how we're supposed to deal with these scissor man guys. They kind of just rush out of nowhere and come at you faster than you can kill them, but then they just kind of, well, if you can avoid their attacks, then you just kind of sit there, but that's kind of the problem. You can't really do so as easily as you would hope. Mm, yep. Oof, okay. I'm gonna be on the ball, I guess. I just suspect they might be around, because apparently they can just materialize from nowhere. And I will take that, I suppose. I will take that. Bye bye. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to duck there. Not quite sure why, but I see that I'm fucking running out of health with Miriam, so. Switched uh, Jeeble for a bit. I'm glad I noticed that. So, okay, some of the, these fucking things have crap inside. Come on. Oh, fuck. Where did you come from? Hmm. Are you gonna open up this? You sure are, I see. Right, here we go. I'm still probably not gonna be... How far does this guy jump? Hang on. I feel like it's time to bring out the sacrificial lamb. Oh. He attacks really slowly to go. Oh, fuck. It's a problem in its right. I'm sure I'm glad I survived that room. Where's my wall meat? If I could... If you would be so kind. Going and wants me to go that way, and is that like a like a dominatrix bunny girl I see on the right? I mean, there were some enemies like that in fucking Order of Ecclesia from what I remember. And there was oh fuck, oh I I see. Oh well, that's certainly a thing. There was also the Laura enemy from the Carmilla boss in Portrait of Oh fuck. Not as predictable as they could be. Which I guess is a good thing. Uh, oh, okay, and they have like a little AoE thing that they do when they land, like a little shockwave. So I basically need to get the fuck away from them. Hmm. How do I get the feeling that if I get touched by one of these saw blades, I'm gonna die instantly? 
know what this means. Time to bring up this guy. There we go. So what's over there? I don't need it. Hmm. I see those bats up there. Oof. Okay. I'm very tempted to cheese this and... In fact, I'm gonna do it. Okay, this bat is not aggro for some reason. Do they like me when I'm in bat form? Is that it? Oh dear, okay, yeah, I saw that coming. So here's my question though, how the fuck do I... Well, that's one way to do it, but if I didn't have that, how the fuck would I defend against all those arrows? I don't think you can, like, do a sweeping attack or anything that would destroy all of them as they were coming out of you or coming at you. Oh dear. Mm, yeah. Well maybe we can like jump over that when they're dashing at me. Probably try that with a different character like this guy. Yeah I can do that, okay. Oh fuck. Oh okay of course he doesn't kill him until you hit Catherine 3. I guess I finally figured out what the uh, intended side to use again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was looking for wall meat, but I guess whatever's in here will do as well. I'll take that. Mm, right, so what do we got? <laughs> what do we got? Oh, okay, we got a fucking Thor's hammer guy. At least unlike most of the axe armors, you can actually, you know... Oh, okay, never mind. Found the axe armor mechanic. Oh, but you can also destroy the hammer as it's flying. Much like the axes that the axe armors have. And I believe that might be the boss door right there, so... You know, let's see if we get any more hearts in these torches. Oh, we do. Shit, okay. It's fine, it's fine. I'll take that, thank you very much. Attempt to dodge the rest of these Meadow's head eyes and uh, be momentarily interrupted by something I'm focusing the window apparently. I don't know what that was. Now, uh, what are we got in here? Oh dear, is this one of the bosses from one of the demos that I have not gotten to play yet because it was not distributed to backers, even though it was available to be like three and such like a while ago? I do believe it is. Okay, I can step on these things, the umbrellas, parasols, whatever they may be. Now this feels very Shovel Knight, I would say. Hmm. Yeah. You know what, let me go ahead and just use the sub buttons now. More abandon. Because I don't feel... Oh, oh, shit, okay. That's different. It's the opposite of... Uh of us before, you might even see. Oh dear. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. How oh, did I kill her? Should I be standing in the corner right next to her, I wonder? Oh, maybe I didn't kill her. Oh, fuck. See, I don't see how you would avoid that, I will tell you that fucking sweeps the whole room with that. So if you like don't have enough health to survive that, it's like, fuck you, I guess. Okay, I beat the stage. Let's see where we're off to now. I'm actually not sure where we are. I guess we might be... Finder of Taboos, oh dear. Oh, fuck. It's fucking frog things. Song sounds very much like a Xalvenia song that I know. I don't remember what it was. It was like... I want to say Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius from Xalvenia 3. It sounds a lot like that song. Uh, pretty sure I know that not just from Xalvenia 3, but there's also a remix of it in... Um, in Circle of the Moon, I think. Yeah, the first Game Boy Advance one, so I think it was Circle of the Moon. Whoops. I don't know why I keep... Thinking that I'm 
need to press Y or triangle in my case, I guess, to switch between the characters. And it's actually L and R that you gotta press to do that. To ask the game to- oh, fuck's sake. I've asked to get the fuck out of my face, I try to play a game. That would have killed me, but this where something in the physics would have sent me careening right off the edge. Uh, how shall we do this? How about like this? I don't like that attack. A lot when it has to decide results, I will see. Death right there. I was pretty lucky. Okay. So, oh, okay. That wasn't actually the attack I was trying to use. I was trying to use. Mm, I should not pick that up actually. But the other attack was better, but. Mm, okay. Let's use this guy's jump. It's more. more. Um, restrained, I guess. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, what is this now? Absolutely no idea what that did, much like I have absolutely no idea what the fist I picked up uh, a couple of years ago was for to do this with these spellbook things. You see, I don't want them around, even though apparently they just kind of uh, stay in place and do like a circle of bullshit. Kind of like the togethers, I guess, from. Dogethers or Dogethers? I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, but... The eyeball must... Seriously, no? Alright, I'm not quite sure what the intended portal action is here. I don't have any uh, attacks, do I, that can like reach that guy up there. Hmm. This could be a problem. Hang on, let me try something. Uh, the, uh... Oh, whoops. I have enough fucking hearts to do this, there we go. There we go. Did I say hearts? I clearly meant uh, weapon points. This is not actually Castlevania after all. Oh dear. Okay, are those platforms here, aren't they? Oh okay. god. Are we doing some Mega Man shit here? Is that what I'm looking at? Yes, isn't it? Oh, hello. I found... I didn't find wall meat, but I found wall... potion. Thank god that there's no fucking time limit. I won't say that much. Oh dear. This, this, this is not good for my heart. Right here. Okay, let's take a look before we fucking jump into action here. How is this supposed to work? Under two cycles, so there is that at least. One. Ugh, okay. Probably shouldn't be fucking dilly dallying around like that. Okay, it's, it's an actual axe armor now. It's not even like a fake axe armor with a hammer, like it was before. Hang on. Oh shit, I keep forgetting this isn't the, the boomerang or. And what is this stupid axe anyway? Like. I should have stopped right there, probably. You want to break the stupid torch, come on. No. I guess the other frogs are definitely the freemen of this game. I have to say that there were frogs that were just like this in Shovel Knight, but I didn't even know. Okay, that guy's still gonna shoot me even if I am to a horizontal alignment with him instead of vertical. Can I not kill this guy at all? Or do I just need to like hit him with a different attack? Hmm. Like uh, maybe this? Nope. Oh shit, I need that. I'm not gonna be able to get it, am I? Nope. Fucking nope. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll just go this way instead. Oh well. If I go back down, it's not gonna like respawn or anything, is it? Nope. Okay. Just check. 
Okay, see, this is scary too. So I see you got like moving parts. And I think that's. What the fuck is that thing? Like a fairy? This one is. Uh, okay, well, I was gonna say this one moves faster than the other one, but I don't even know if that's the case. Like, if I. I'm pretty sure it's about the same. Never mind. It just feels faster if I. Walking in the same direction as it. Hmm, it's scary though. Ugh. Fuck. Ugh, ugh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Fucker. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Hmm. I kind of wish I had my. Attack where I could shoot the knives up in an arc for this part. Hang on, it's fine. All I could do is just jump past that enemy to kill that guy. There we go. Seeing I made it, I know how to play these games. Oops. Okay, now this definitely looks like something out of Shovel Knight. This, just a frame. Hmm, well, that was significantly less. Less problematic than it could have been. Than might have been suggested by the image of the giant creature standing in our way. Alright, so is this another one of those paintings that kills you instantly? Okay, this time. Oh, it's a painting of fucking E guy, isn't it? He's got the fucking cowboy hat and the wine glass. Back, okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna cheap this out just like last time. I don't want to lose any of my characters to a cheap death. I'm kinda wondering if that other painting was like someone else who paid them a lot of money or something. Another backer, if you will. Right. There we are. This out, you know, I do have fucking Alucard right in my command right now. Hang on a minute. Uh, took my hands off the controller for a second. You probably shouldn't fucking do well, you know, this platforming nonsense is in effect. Okay, that was significantly easier than I thought it would be. Just a couple of screens worth of heights. Okay, so what's this guy gonna do? Same old. This is my chance to test out this weapon. Okay, just kills it, killed it instantly. What about that thing up there? Uh, uh, was I not supposed to kill that guy? Was I supposed to like freeze him and do something, or something else weird? So, like, can I float up with a uh, deal? Like, apparently, that's not gonna help. Wait. Trying to open up that thing, so kind of wondering. Doesn't look like I can get over there. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, this means that we get to explore more of the stage. All right, let's just go where the skeleton tells us who my friend said me to. Oh, it looks just like a certain part in Castlevania 3 that I'm sure anyone who's played that game and like. Taking the yellow card route will remember. Mm, okay, it's fine. Okay, okay, that was that was uh, fortunate timing. That was not delivered. Mm, gotcha. I can hear them coming at least. Mm. And I want to do. I almost said Shinora again. Miriam for this because she got the. Uh, Farther reaching jump, I think. It might not be farther reaching actually, hang on, let me try and measure it here. Should she jump farther than this guy, or they're, okay, horizontally they jump about the same, I think. Hmm, I don't know, hang on. I think horizontally they jump about the same, yeah. 
Not sh pff, not Shandoa, fucking Miriam has less vertical or more vertical reach than the others, so that's the X factor to her jump, I guess. One day I'm gonna stop calling her Shanoa. That day might is clearly not today though. She might Divine. Jesus Christ, these guys are fucking tanks. Please. I mean I don't need that, do I? It'd be nice if I could have gotten it for this guy, but eh. I have pretty much completely abandoned and get to another of the other characters. You know he has the most health. He might also hit harder if I had to guess. Hmm, might we be at the end of the stage here? Or maybe not. Maybe we're We are perceiving horrors instead of writing him. We also only got two rounds of crap to jump through. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that was a bad choice. Should have had one of the other characters to jump with there, I think. Like this guy, who I will be using now. Okay, thank fuck that. Please die, okay, thank you. Oh shit. When the fuck am I gonna jump to the next, actually? Okay, for goodness for the physics not fucking me over in this, because... I can certainly picture that being a possibility if that were an option. And it's, it's fine, I survived. Time to switch to science, uh, I believe. Okay, see, he kills that guy in four hits, whereas Miriam killed him in five. Hello. Hmm, hang on. Let's see, if I had only... If I had only Watcher Face, Man of the Miriam, and not Jeebo... Then I could have still made that jump, but since I do have Jeebo and not Miriam, which is the opposite state of affairs... I'm fucking forced to use the alternative instead. Alright, well thank you for being stunned up by my bullshit bat ammo. I greatly appreciate everything you've done for me. Okay, you need that health. And I keep thinking, you know, how close are we to get into a boss here, but I get a feeling I'm gonna regret those words for too long. like upwards or yeah upwards the entire time instead of running it low. And that would be an issue since you can I'm pretty sure duck under it so well, I guess you can't have everything. Right here we are. Let's see what the boss is. What the fuck is this guy? Is he like a reading panther? See this really looks like more of like a Mega Man boss than like a real fuck. I shall be in your boss. I can just... oh, okay. Guessing I don't want to be standing on the red ones here. Yep, I'm definitely feeling the Mega Man here. Jesus for Christ. Okay, so I should always be standing on those first. I guess... I guess go ahead and uh, cheese that just a little bit and then get the fuck out of here. Go away. Good distance away, that is. Okay, dead. I'm just gonna switch to Mr. Sangetsu here so I can presumably tank the last hit that I'm gonna have to tank. Yep, <laughs> definitely have to tank it. I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, okay, you're at, uh, you guys can't see it, but I'm getting some achievements here every time I get to the end of a stage. I'm gonna focus for just a second, kinda of wondering, yeah, there's I got seven so far and there are eight hidden achievements remaining. Oh dear. Could this be the final stage or could this be the prelude to the final stage? I don't know. Curse the moon. Seems to me it could be the final stage, just based on the oh fuck. 
based on the fact that you know the, the oh fuck all right not quite sure how well I could have reacted to that but I think that's not going to be the last I'm going to see of that whatever it is I'm going to call it bullshit hazard for now because it really seems to be that it, that's exactly what it is oh see why did I just say can rip and get I was kind of making a point of using over the other characters because I might as well have a little. Uh... Hmm. Well, I guess you can kind of see, like, if you look at the background, the places where it might pop up. Yeah, let's not. Let's not uh, dwell upon these places. Oh, well, thank goodness I noticed that at least. Alright, oh, alright. Well, couldn't really have predicted that, so. Got a couple of cheap deaths already. Not a terribly big fan of that, I gotta tell you. Right now. I think I'll keep the lightning spell. It seems a bit more bullshit, a bit more absurd for my purposes. Okay, I guess you're supposed to know that stairs aren't gonna disappear. Yeah, I'm not terribly fond of this mechanic, I gotta tell you. It doesn't seem quite as well thought out as a lot of the other things in this game. Alright, let's not even stop it just quickly. To do that immediately, okay. Just holding down right now. Fuck, even is that like corrupted blood like in Lord's Shadow? Or is it like those stained blood? Oh, okay. Hi, there. Nice to meet you, I guess. Just got another enemy, much like the Sisterman guys, except these guys are even worse because they leave a trail of fire, so even if you jump over them, you're not really avoiding them. But yeah, maybe that massive bullshit that chases you sometimes is like the glass stained things that are like demon shards and hello. I'm pretty sure that. Okay, I died. I lost all my characters. I wonder what happens now. Okay, that's when you consume a life, I, I guess. So technically in each life, it's more like four lives. Guess I'm okay with that. Okay. Let's just bullshit these guys, because that seems like the only reasonable way to go about them. I don't even have to use cheats or anything, I just use the game's own mechanics that it provides me with. And have to figure out the fucking game genie codes like I did for the Game Boy games. Or wherever the fuck they burst, like how action replay. Okay, so what the fuck happened here that killed me? I actually already forgot the details. Okay, I will take those. Thank you very much. And I will under this. Okay, let me try to just go. Like, not even... Uh. Does anyone need help? Apparently not. Right. I right, see here's another trail of nonsense. I seem to have to kind of want to do this here. Just kind of have to guess what I want to do. Do it right. So it looks like that stuff can't reach me, and I guess I was extremely fortunate to find out that that was in fact the case. It's not going to stop either, is it? So I can't actually go over there where the game's wanting me to go with the arrows. Hmm. Oh well. Guess I'm going this way then. Oh shit. Fuck is that? Is that another one of those? Like, 
wherever they are, like the bunny girls in the previous stage, right? Definitely something else. Okay, speak, speaking of devil, but the other one that attacked me before that one, before this one that is clearly of a different... Yeah, it looked like that. It looks kind of like Skull Kid from Hydra's Mask, actually, if you'll excuse me saying that. Kind of got the same kind of head hairstyle. Ornament, whatever it might be. Hmm. Alright, do I want to keep this guy alive for any reason? I think I do, actually. Shall I send down to get hit a few times on my behalf? There we go. No, it's still one of those lion guys that... Uh, that I am pretty sure... Uh, might show up here because... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say it looks kind of empty, but it's riding with this big old hell beast that I'm... Spamming with my sword there. In fact, this part looks kind of familiar. It looks like more or less the same as another screen that I already left. I hope that's a coincidence. Okay, it looks like it might have been very well have been since, you know. Fuck. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay, what if I. Okay, let me try once to. Uh, just try and rush through with Mr. Old Man here and fail, okay. Okay, my next course here is to just try and bullshit this whole part and just do this. Let us see how well that's gonna work out for me. Okay, can get up there maybe. I hope I can get up there, please. That's how you win, I suppose. Perhaps next we shall find out what that terrible mass of bullshit that's been chasing us the entire time is. Or not, we shall be chased by it again. And I shall consider it again, because quite frankly I don't feel like... putting up with... an overachieved death or two. At this point. And I really can't find no better- oh fuck. There have been some describing what's been happening to me, and even catching me to death- oh fuck. Do these demons have the same kind of a- oh, kind of motion pattern as like the red armors from the Ghosts and Goblins, or the elemental demons from the Circle of the Moon, and some of the other Metroidvania games, portable Metroidvanias even. Might even have that- I'll be inside with that in mind. Oh dear, this bullshit again. Come so quickly. Please do not live. Not suffer, I'm told to live. Oh, thank you, God. Alright. Okay, I made it to the end. That frightening room. Hmm, are these stairs gonna... Okay, they look like maybe they were gonna crumble. As I was walking up them, but hang on a minute. Do you notice there's something else over there? And I can't very well ignore that now, can I? Especially since I have full weapon hearts right now. Hmm. Do I need that? I don't need that. Right. I'll still pick it up though. It's just a bunch of hearts. I guess this is for that guy. That's dead, so... That was kind of a waste, you know. I will tell you that much. Hmm. This looks like an enemy eh, might be like a uh, prelude to a boss from here. Yeah, it looks like we're preparing for a boss fight here. Definitely feels that way. Just gonna keep my trusty knives though. This might even be the final boss, who knows? I've seen it. The thing in the stained glass window was the boss. Oh, well, okay, and it's also this thing that's been. Oh shit, 
chasing and hurting us the entire time. So hopefully, you know, this will end in my favor. Oh, okay. Not really sure how you're supposed to discern a pattern that thing is going to follow, but I assume there's a way. Um, just go far, far away from where it's located. Oh, dear. Okay. Kind of surprised they haven't taken more damage than I already have. Maybe it's like motion so it does like with its hands. Ugh. Oh okay. I am not in control right now, so I would like to switch to Jeep if it was to do like a suicide attack, but I don't know it's if that's the case, I'm still not in control. Gracious, what have we got here? Now we got something that looks like it's out of Metal Slug. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, it's like the, um... It's like the Gargoyle Bat boss fight in Bloodlines, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. I can destroy these things, but... Apparently can't hurt the, the main guy. Maybe. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I can't step on these things. Maybe that's how I heard it, but I really have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay, now it's yellow. And they both attack at the same time, so it seems. I have this weapon, I do have this weapon. I should have been using this the entire time, so... I do see the problem. Oh. So maybe I am supposed to use this combination of powers. Oh shit, did I just pick up a new weapon that's not as good as the one I had before? Looks like that may very well have been the case. Uh. Okay, I was good at surviving those attacks. Not anymore, though, so it appears. Okay, let's see if I can avoid getting hit by this this time by doing this. Yeah. Oh, shit. Please, there we go. Hmm, so this might take a while, but I might actually be able to survive this if I continue, if I can keep up with this pattern. Never mind. Sickles came down quickly enough that they hurt me regardless of it. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, okay. Oh fuck. If, if only I could somehow been able to keep my up, damn it. Okay, when the red, then to do this. Yeah. And when they're yellow, you hit them directly. Okay, after they partially come down. This is an interesting boss. I will say that much. Oops, shit! I really need that. Hang on. In fact, I will forfeit an opportunity to hit it this round so that I can do this. And actually, we'll hit it better now with like this. Oh shit, that could have been bad. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Now I am completely dead. Right, that was bad. And fucking Miriam died, so I didn't get one more attempt at this, even though. I really don't know if it's worth it with just Jeevil. I really don't see myself killing that guy with. Bad boy here. I attempted to just kill myself actually so I can bring everyone else back to life, but I will give it at least one try and see what happens. Not too bad, I you know Jigo cannot use sub weapons, so I can have a mood point to expect those for him. Right, come on. Ooh. I will 
destroyed. Actually, by Chum Hut didn't get hurt. Didn't get hurt at all that round, even though he was. I was expecting that to be the case. He finally got one point damage to my name. It's a lot more. a lot more fitting. Oof. Okay, get past the first phase with only a couple of health bar bars done away with. Let's see if I can maybe just maybe survive the see the problem is I don't know how to hit the weak point in this other phase with Jeebel. Doesn't feel like he has enough reach. after these things calm down. There seems to be a better option. Probably shouldn't be fucking around with that thing while it's firing the giant stream of death. Oh, hello. Didn't do this before. Maybe I am hurting it more. Oh, okay, that hurts you as does this. Uh, but I don't know if you avoid it by standing right on the edge, but... Oops. Uh. Fine. Yes, probably wait until after this part. To move fuck around more. Oh, okay, did I actually do it? I have three bars of health. I, I am not in control. She's got an achievement, so I guess I did do it. Another achievement. Oh, is it for um Just watch the ending here, I guess. To get so was astonished by his own actions, or what reason did you do this? He existed to slay demons and take revenge, but long lost emotion had been rekindled. Time for that has passed. As his consciousness drowned in darkness, Sengetsu could only play pray for their safety. I wonder if I get an achievement because I didn't finish the game with all the characters alive. Maybe Sengetsu died, or maybe that's just canon. Maybe there's multiple endings to this, I don't know. And so, in order to stop the new Dark Emperor, Sengetsu's allies plunged into battle again. To what did... Did Sengetsu become the new evil villain? He may have to end their ally's life, but can they still save his soul? Even though I'm almost entirely certain that that's supposed to happen to Jeevil instead. In the canon... ...thing of it. Those left behind. Recruit every adventurer and finish the game right. That's apparently the... To be continued. Who knows, maybe there are, maybe there aren't, but... Okay, that was... Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. It only took me about a couple hours to get through it. A little less than that, actually. But it's pretty neat, I will tell you what. It actually... Feels... Pretty, pretty good, and you know, keep in mind that he only explored part of it because there's a lot of branching paths that, that this actually has. Which I only explored a portion of, I guess. It kind of, kind of looks like some of the paths I might have taken are more like shortcuts, but. Uh, also feels like I was kind of kept from taking a few of those shortcuts, so I actually took the long way around. <coughs> Yeah, apparently there's a bunch of different people involved in the music for this one thing. Including Ipo Yamada. 
I am pretty sure good number of the well maybe not a good number but at least a couple of the songs in this uh, were like 8-bit remixes of orchestrated songs that Yamane did for the main game that were audible in the first demo that came out for it so so I don't know like you know good old not just even like 8-bit Castlevania but also like Genesis Castlevania and maybe even a bit of Castlevania 4 thrown in with maybe a bit of Mega Man and Shovel Knight vibes which kind of weird to say that at the end Shovel Knight because Shovel Knight is the really best fuck of stuff like Mega Man and Castlevania the originals at least and Nightmare Mode has been unlocked hello it uh, the window focused, right? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, there you go. Well, if we start the game again, we can play on this. You can see it only took about an hour and a half to clear the game. Normal style, casual, stage 8, infinite lives, yeah. So how about if I, like, pick this file? In veteran. Will it, like, load me back into the final stage? It will, okay. Hmm, do I dare to see what happens if I attempt the entire stage again, but in, like, super hard mode? Bullshit physics. I have three lives, okay. I think... I'm guessing that this is uh, the progression for this, like, even if you don't play in for the casual mode like I just did. Even if you don't do that, uh... Okay, what are you gonna do this? I have to remember what you're gonna do here, you're gonna do this. Using that, if you, even if you don't play in for the casual mode like I did, like, the progression would be more or less similar to how it was in Rondo, where... You do get lives, you do get uh, continues and all that, but, like, if you lose all your lives, you don't necessarily, like, have to restart the whole game, because you actually need to save your progress. If you go from one stage to the next, and you can, like... Well, I don't know if they give you that option in this game, but at least in Runner you can like, pick your stage from the main menu based on the stages you unlocked, because there's, like, branching paths in Runner as well, and unlock different stages, but... I don't think that's not necessarily the case here. But who knows? You know, I haven't even played this game for like two hours, like I said. It might still be able to surprise me somehow. I should probably be playing as Sangetsu right now, actually, so that I can... I'm kind of wondering, actually, like, how would I get to the door that's like on the other side of this thing? This fucking stream of bullshit shows up and I can't get through at all. I guess it has to get through so that I can... What if I leave the screen and then come back? It's still there, okay. I can guess it has to come through to start with so that, you know, it, uh, this part of the wall breaks off. But then how do I get it to disappear? Do I just, like, sit here for for five hours? I don't really want to listen to that, uh, that cacophony. I'll tell you what. Eh, I don't know, I'm sure there's a way. But right now I just kinda wanna w just kinda wondering, kinda wanna find out. What happens if I try to do something as uh, ridiculous as oh fuck. Try to beat the final stage with um with classic Castlevania bullshit physics, which is what I um oh okay. Apparently if you attack those P swords and get to you just just, uh, you know, get them to explode in the first hit rather than having to do it twice. That's interesting. Oh, they even have, like, a different sprite for if you do enough damage on the first hit, I guess, which is what that's about. Kind of wondering, like, what that burning mode thing is, if, if this is, like, the burning mode from, um... from, what do you call it? From Legends. Guess not, because you still did damage, and I'm almost entirely certain that in uh, Legends you don't take damage from 
burning mode. And it doesn't really look like you do that much more damage either. Or, uh, I wish I could this guy would have died faster. I'm sure I hit it five times on both occasions. Hmm, okay, at this point I realize that my weapon upgrades and. Not weapon upgrades, but like my weapon capacity, power capacity upgrades are gone. But looks like my health upgrades that I got are still there, I think. Oh fuck. This might have been a bit. Oh, dear. One up, okay. I get a feeling that what you're maybe meant to do there is just bullshit with Gino. So at least, don't really see any other way of doing this viably, I gotta tell you. Well, maybe there's an achievement too, now that I think about it. Think about the achievement I got a little while ago. What if I go the other way now? Go down this way. Okay, the, the wall of bullshit is gone. Just gotta keep that in mind. I'm wondering, uh, kinda wondering if there's an achievement for um, like getting through the game without rescuing all the allies. Even though I'm not even sure how that would be possible, since like I didn't really go out of my way to rescue them or anything. It just kind of happens automatically when you get to the end of the stage early on. Mm, who knows? I get the feeling there are more intricacies to this game than I have. Uh, I've gotten to know up to this point. Just don't know what they are. Oh boy, yep. Pretty sure I bullshit of this room with. I keep wanting to say Alucard because I'm fuck. Well, I don't have Alucard as my option anymore, so can't bullshit it that way anymore. Let's try and, you know, jump through this guy. Like, even try to ignore the. Fucking torches, because I figure they're just gonna slow me down. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you know, you know, I somehow survived. <laughs> Can't exactly know the fucking. Hang on. Yeah, I remember this guy was gonna be there, so I might as well just use Miriam to pick him off. Right, my bad powers are gone. Just want everyone to keep that in mind. Um, here we go. I'm gonna need this. I'm very sure, actually, because it's the bullshit frog room. And I don't like these frogs. They have the flea men of this game up, and I almost died there because my fucking shield ran out. I think that sound that I've been hearing sometimes is like a little chime. It might be uh, made like in the original Castlevanias, where you can. I'll take that, but you can get like an extra life if you get enough points. But that didn't really matter when I would do the original run for because, um. Dear goodness, hang on. I'd probably pick a different power for this guy if I'm gonna be. Hmm, I don't know. What else have we got? Yeah, well, I'll go for this one. If we're gonna be fighting the final boss with him. Him and Miriam, I guess. But see what happens if. Uh... Uh. Actually, that's not too bad. That uh, the range on his cane is actually not as bad as it could be, all things considered. I ought to admit. Like wiping out several of these orbs at the same time. Even if it does kind of be a lot of it, oh, okay, I can freeze this guy completely. I was not really expecting, I will tell you what. Oh, I know he can. There's some of the orbs now. I wonder if that does more damage, like if you hit him after you freeze him. Ah, oh, shit, oh, okay, I thought he was dead then. I guess that would have been a asking probably too much, alright. Okay, I beat him to death with the cane. With this guy. At least the first face. 
So let's see if I can survive the first phase with just one health bar from Miriam, because if this guy dies, then I have pretty much no fucking hope of beating him, beating the final boss, I think. I really like how that little intro fanfare sounds. That's gonna be of the old, uh, the fanfare for the old uh, rare logo, actually, if anyone remembers that. Shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so the second ones, they don't, uh, the second wave of those yellow sickles, they don't actually. Okay. Oh, only the bottom part of that is uh, actually harmful. I had no idea. Okay. Yeah, this I can do. See this right here. This is this is doable. Uh. fucking Miriam, at least. I'm not sure how you would do this with Sengetsu, to be quite honest with you. It's not really occurs to me that I could be spamming the, you know, Miriam sub uh, uh, Try and hit the dude in between. Sort of rounds of attack, but... I really want to do that. It's like he's throwing the circle at you and junk, and then this happens. Okay. Ugh, okay. Oh dear. Okay, I'm starting standing right on the edge. See, yeah, I did remember that attack. Oh fuck, of course. The board's out of the way. Right, okay, I'm out of weapon power to keep spamming the knives at him, so. I don't even know if it's a him or a her or what the fuck it's supposed to be. If those terms even apply. I'm not even really sure like what its face is, if it's like wearing a hood or what. Uh, okay, I was gonna grab Sigold since uh, okay. Oof, okay. Is it feels a little bit more authentic, you know, not cheesing it with not Alucard, and actually doing it with character that's a bit more uh, more of a danger factor, I feel, and uh, goodness me. Okay, oof, okay. <laughs> that was very, very lucky timing. I'm pretty sure that if that had hit me, it would have just knocked me off the edge and killed me instantly, but... It's kind of like, I don't know, you know Donkey Kong Country 2, where you get the two characters to play as you get Diddy and Dixie, and... Dixie can fucking use her hurt to flow, float and, well not float, but like glide down slowly and a lot of the platforming feels like it's cheaper if you do it with her for that reason. It kind of feels the same way here, like you know, if you do it without the cheese method, it feels a bit more authentic. But yeah, it looks like the reason, the reason, no, it looks like the ending is pretty much the same. At least Sengetsu got in touch with his inner Mormon again, but he got, like, consumed by the darkness as he was trying to save these three body dudes that he found. <laughs> and he became the new Dark Emperor as a result. Presumably that's going to be the premise of the main game, even though I thought Jeevil was going to be like the evil dude that was in the castle that wasn't really evil, but he got like corrupted and Miriam went after, you know, based on my understanding of the stuffs that had been shown about the game so far, that was the impression that I got. But maybe not, I mean... In order to further this, we'll have to wait a couple of more weeks so that uh, 
get a proper announcement of the freaking when the beta is coming out and when the people who actually paid to get the game developed are gonna get to access that, you know, wink wink. I am certainly waiting for that to happen. That sure would make those people quite happy. Would make them feel like their money was used for a good purpose. And it would make them feel like they are being adequately rewarded with, you know, something concrete rather than... Stuff like development trivia, which is not a bad thing, but... It's also not quite what you pay for, you know? Also, for the record... The sword whip in the final game, which is probably going to be a backer exclusive thing. I certainly hope they release that eventually as a general thing, even though there are certain people out there who would like to argue to the contrary for some reason I simply cannot understand. So yeah, that's out of the way. Pierre Shigeru Miyamoto there, read that. I somehow missed that before. Alright. I certainly liked what I saw here, I will tell you that much. I'm probably gonna come back to it at some other time. Maybe I'll do like a full playthrough of um, veteran mode on my own time. Maybe I'll come back to it on stream even, even though I already saw the entirety of the... Uh, hang on a minute. I can't like go back to previous stages, can I? No button that I press. It's like doing that. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not so much like in Rondo where you know you can select your stage and your, from your save file. It's maybe it's a bit more like in Castlevania Chronicles where you know I didn't really meddle around with that game that much. Didn't really play it all that much. Only really as much as Rondo, but I think in that game you couldn't go back to like previous stages either. You have to like just start a new game, which. You know, to be fair, both in that game and in Rondo, and in this one too, I suppose, the game is short enough to, to that if you have to replay a certain portion of the game, it's really not that big of a deal. I don't know, what if I want to start like a new Nightmare Mode? Wait, what? In order to save Sangetsu who has fallen into darkness, his allies set out once more. So what is this like? Uh, you know what? Hang on, let me try this. And fuck it, let's... It's probably not a good, not a good idea to do, considering that it's nightmare mode, but let's go ahead and take a look. Journeys and Sangetsu protected his allies at the cost of succumbing to the darkness in order to stop him, his allies venture forth once more. They may have to take their allies' life, but can they still save his soul? Hmm. Isn't that pretty much a Paraphrasing of what they said, like the text at the end of the, the normal mode, what that said. Well, you know what, I will take a look at this mode. I wasn't sure if I did not realize when I unlocked Nightmare mode that that would actually have like a different setup. So I guess it's more or less the same, except we can't actually play a Sangetsu now because he's, uh, you know... It's a bit busy getting fucked in the head by the dark energies, I guess. I kinda wonder if the final boss is gonna be different. It's gonna be like in, say, Julius mode from... Fuck it. Just notice that fucking stairway up there. I could've used Alucard, I mean, Geo, to get up there. I kinda feel tempted to restart now, actually. Hang on. <laughs> what is Curse of the Moon here? I did notice this as, like, being an option. What is, what is Curse of the Moon here? Return to... Oh, okay. Okay, never mind, I could actually return to previous stages now. Yes. It saves me from having to quit and restart. Okay, but your progress gets undone. That doesn't happen in Rondo. I don't think. Okay, we have nine hearts. 
hopefully that's enough to get up here. Yep. So what? Uh, what's, what's hiding from me up here? I sort of wonder. This Miriam is gonna be the the main OG for this mod. As you know, she does have the whip, so she is the closest in form to an old school Belmont protagonist. Just get rid of that guy. Don't not for the other one too. Hmm. I'm kind of scared of. Uh, Like overshooting the box jumps like I only did once or twice when I had Miriam active, so for fuck's sake, okay. I'm just falling to my death. That would not be nice if, if that happened. Ah, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> that was unfortunate timing. Ugh, uh, okay. It's fine, it's fine for real life. Okay, there's another hard upgrade here, though. I will take that. Is that some motivation for me to take that upper path? Oh, oh goodness. I still don't know what they're supposed to do, but you, you know, avoid damage from these fuckers. Still not terribly clear on that. Looks like you can't just... You can jump over them, but then you take damage from the trail of fire that they leave behind. Uh, just say the same thing. It does, yeah. It really, does, really doesn't seem like you can like, jump far enough to where... To where you can get past the enemy and the trail of fire. Hello. So yeah, no wall meat in this game that I found at least, but... It does seem that there's a lot of wall... A bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Jump when those things are coming down and you noted. That was kind of silly of me. Okay, that was lucky. I will tell you that much right now. But I guess you gotta play Nightmare mode to use shortcuts like this one, I suppose. Should switch to Geo. Hang on. Fuck. <laughs> I say, fucking Miriam slow in hell, and I don't really want to lose her. By the way, even though we're up to the boss now, I'm pretty sure. And sure enough, we are. that right after it beats the coal. Ugh. Oh, fuck you. That's different. That didn't happen before. Oh, I'm going to destroy that, I guess, which we probably should. If we're going to... I'm going to avoid that terrible projectile thing. Also, if we're gonna try to avoid the... the suicide attack that it does, this boss does. I would've forgot what it was, but I don't remember that I did one of those. Okay, so, so this guy's gonna get the most health. Sure, hope that, uh... 
Oh, shit. Right. Oh. <laughs> Gonna have to remember what those attacks are like, I suppose, if I'm trying to survive some of these. Some of these encounters, because, like, pretty much all of my guys were almost completely dead by the end of that. It looks like the stages are gonna be more or less the same, but you know, premise is different, and I'm certainly interesting and interested. Excuse me, I am not interesting. I am interested in finding out uh, if the ending part is gonna be any different. If it's gonna be like in uh, something that I was thinking of earlier, but failed to actually mention because my train of thought got completely derailed. And choose the ending of uh, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow if you play in Julius mode. But if you play in Julius mode and if you actually get to the ending, it's kind of a uh, coincidence too, or, or is it? Is that uh, in Dawn of Sorrow, Julius mode is also a bit of a throwback stylistically to Castlevania 3, because you've got three, uh, well, three characters out of the four that there should be presenting the characters from Castlevania 3. You got Julius as Trevor, you got. Um, Yoko as Saifa, and you got Alucard as himself. I don't need Alucard for this, or Jeevil, excuse me. <laughs> Keep fucking calling Jeevil Alucard, at least I'm not calling Miriam Shano anymore, at least not as uh, frequently. Should have gone the other way, I feel. I already went, I already went this, this way on my previous, previous run through of things, Jesus Christ. Hang on. I want to try going that way, I don't know if I... Okay, I can. Maybe, okay. <laughs> it's kind of close. Hello. And, uh... I was... Yeah, I was just speaking of something here, and I completely... Stopped speaking about it with it before I even finished it. We had fucking Julius as Trevor. It had, um... Yoko was safe and out there as himself, and if you get to the end of that, fuck, okay. And then instead of the normal final boss that you fight on the normal mode with Soma, then you fight Soma himself, who has become Dracula in the bad ending. So you see, it all ties into a brand new storyline, and also this one is scary, especially with normal uh, physics. You get hit one thing by one of these fuckers, and I'm pretty sure you just fall to your death instantly. It's like. You ever see fucking Castlevania? Oh, okay, that was lucky. That was completely fucking lucky. The end of Castlevania Dracula X, which was the shitty Super Nintendo version of, um, of that other game, uh, Rondo of Blood, which I can failed to remember the name of, even though I've been talking about it a whole bunch. But at the end of Dracula X, which is pretty different from Rondo in many ways, you get a fight against Dracula, where it like, turns into a giant demon and... Oh, fuck, okay. It's got crumbling platforms. I haven't seen those in a while. Turns into a giant demon and the only ground you have to stand on is like a series of... Uh, platforms next to each other with uh, you know, a giant gaping hole in between all of them, much like in the room I just left. Yeah, this looks scary, this looks like... It reminds me of a part in Yoshi's Island, I think, where it's kind of the same idea. I've got a moving platform going, uh, you know, taking you where you need to go. But sometimes you need to get off the platform and actually do move around on other platforms that are over it. Okay, that was almost death right there. Okay, it could have been bad. Uh. Oh, I sure I'm glad that I have Jeevil for this. Be significantly more painful without him. Oh. 
At this time, you know, discovering new parts of the levels, I'm guessing that would not be accessible in a normal mode, because, uh, you know, you can't actually... Oh, fuck. You can't actually use these characters this early on in the game in a normal mode. Do it in super special new game plus mode. I'll take that. I actually really miss my weapon up uh, weapon capacity upgrades, I guess you would call it the really weapon upgrades. The weapons are the same. But, you know, starting over is interesting, it's like... It's like a way to a challenge to the game that I am definitely okay with. It seems a bit weird. To say something like that, but... You have to understand I am terrible at expressing myself. Especially when it comes to the spoken word. Alright, there's a boss here. I'm trying to remember what the boss is. Uh, I think you just need to pelt it with either the knives or. I'm gonna try it with uh, G1. See, I'm thinking Alucard. I keep fucking forming that word in my head and I keep having to make an effort to say no. Much like with Miriam and Shinoa. I should have stood under the fucking stalactite. I've completely forgotten everything that this boss does. Oh dear, except that, I, I suppose. And especially that. Oh, goodness me, well, I'm dead. And Jeevil's out of the picture. We at least get to try again pretty much immediately, yeah, uh, okay. I don't want any other cell weapons, this one's like the perfect one for my current purposes, so... So I'll just have to put my teeth in there. Alright, so do not stand directly under these stalactites when I duck under its attack first. And we have room to move after... Um, at least. Uh. Okay, I tried to dodge that too, but it was not to be. I'm gonna spend all of my attack power on this and still not kill it. Uh. Okay, and now she's dead. Get the feeling that we're all gonna die. I'm Thinking things might be a little bit more difficult in this mode as compared to the original. Hmm. Do I want this ice power? I don't really know. Oops. I don't really like how. Should we have a delay and the. Uh, oh, fucking. What's his face? Like. Uh, what is his name actually? Alfred? Yeah, I think it's Alfred. Oh, some of them entirely forgot that. You have a delay between when you initiate his attack and when his attack and when it actually hits, which is kind of a problem when, you know, this reach is as pathetic as it is. It's like a fucking Cypher Skane. In... Oh, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. In Castlevania 3, because that's what it's supposed to be like. Ooh, okay. I need to fucking remember that, and you know I can't do that. I'm gonna die. I died right after I said that. See, I, I can see into the future. Let's bring ourselves back from the dead somehow, and um, I'm kidding, I'm further back than I thought it would be. Why do I go this way? That's where I came from, isn't it? Fuck. That strat for these guys. Well, I guess that answers my concern I had earlier. Of how the fuck do you. Oof, okay, I ran out of hard power, excuse me. 
I meant weapon power, clearly. I can turn off what the fuck you do to get rid of those guys. If you don't, if you can't just like fly over them. Use the boomerang sub weapon that Miriam has. She's like a scythe as you throw. Jesus Christ. Okay, I really shouldn't be doing this, you know. Attempting this right now for a couple of reasons. First of all, I have not slept at all, and it's almost 5 a.m. And the reason I uh, I'm doing this now to start with, like staying up this late, it's not even to do with me wanting to play this game. It's more to do with the fact that I have some crap that I should have been doing that I put off to the last minute, and it still hasn't like I've managed to do it amount of it over the course of the day, but it's still not completed, and I really should be working on that right now, because uh, the amount of hours I have left until I have to actually worry about that is counted. Uh, okay, I tried to jump over that. Okay, so even if you don't get hit by the big turtle shell, then you still get fucked anyway, because I don't know if I like this boss. You know, scratch that completely. I, I am absolutely certain I do not like this boss. I should have used fucking Jewel for the, the boss, I'm pretty sure, since, you know. But I know uh, Miriam didn't have the, the weapon that's good for him. I used the weapon that lets you shoot the knives in an arc. Well, not really in an arc, but diagonally. I don't know why I've been seeing it in an arc the whole time. I guess I just couldn't think of the correct word that actually means what I'm trying to say. Very, very common occurrence, not just in speaking, but in, um, you know, production as well, which certainly become relevant now that I, uh, in the very thing that I'm supposed to be, that I was supposed to be doing that I didn't completely yes. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate that. Hate that shit. Oh, come on. And bubbles. Just run away from him, okay. And then what? I can't remember. I actually don't know what happens after this part. Right, I guess the cycle repeats. So we have to stun one of those things to be able to survive the... Survive the, um... <laughs> or not survive, but, like, not take damage from the... Oh, for fuck's sake. The, like, shockwave that he makes. It makes... I don't know, I would, be, I, mean, I would prefer not to concern myself with that, that question. Fuck, 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 no, do it. Failed to notice that I was where I was standing, so I was doomed to die, no matter what I did. You know what, if I can if I can beat the stage, which I'm not really expecting to be able to do, I'm just gonna leave it off here for now, because I really should get back to you know, that other thing that I still haven't finished. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. Very not fine. Oh, the bat fucking goes away. What a miracle. Yeah. Okay, sure. Even though those things die in one hit. They apparently don't die in one hit from my shield yet. There's, there's no hope. The only character I've been able to do this with is either Miriam with the diagonal knives or Jigo. Himself. See, the problem too is the fucking first sweep. You need to like aim your jump so that you actually land on top of one of those fallen stalactites, and it's really easier said than done, to say the least. For fuck's sake. Okay, I somehow avoided damage from that. I was not expecting to. 
Alright, I was also not expecting to be able to swat all those arrows out of the air. Just a whip. Whichever of these things happens first, I managed to beat the boss or I exhaust my lives. I hope the former will happen first, but we, we shall see. Probably shouldn't have broken that, because like, I might take damage from um, you know, these creatures here. And if that were the case, I could just, you know, come back here and grab the heart to restore myself to full health, but... I just did a very clever thing immediately every single time I go down that hallway and I just give myself... ...into not being able to do that. Okay. Let's not get... here. Hmm. Maybe, like, maybe Miriam can jump without being on the stomach. Oh, fuck. I'm fucking forgetting what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe Miriam can... It's a terrible pattern because you can't fucking avoid it on this trial and error. Which I don't, and I do not call that a good pattern. Maybe I'm like not so old fashioned, but I really do not do, do prefer a pattern that you can actually do something about it without having to die to it a bunch of times first. You know, call me, call me an old fart for referring that way. Okay, I, I'm gonna die, Aaron. Hang on. Problem solved. He's <laughs> fucking dug in a corner here. Alright, that's fine. No, oh, I did it. I beat the boss. It was painful. But I prevailed. And I hope it saves here. Like, if I... Quit, because I think I'm pretty much gonna quit now. Oh, good game. And then I will probably come back to it at some point. Might even be on stream. Might even be later today or tomorrow. Or, uh, yes, that's that's exactly what I mean to do. Thank you. But for now, I must say goodbye. So you all take it easy. Thanks, everybody. Anybody who showed up. Everybody. Eh, anybody who chatted. You know who you are. Always nice whenever people chat, and uh, I might actually be doing more frequent streams in the near future, as I'm going to be no longer bound by the fucking ball and chain of having to turn in some shit that takes a long time to get ready and actually, uh, you know, prepare. That fucking yoke is going to be lifted from my head very, very soon. Potentially forever. But... Uh, first, another... Let me count how many. About ten hours. Or nine, hour, nine more hours. That's about how many more hours must pass before that comes to pass. And even then, it's not like entirely certain. But it is pretty certain, so you know. That's how much time is left until I can finally not... I can destroy myself every day. Which will probably lead to more streams or just more stuff. More fucking not stressing myself out over crap that I don't want to do. Because it will be done, or even if it isn't, which it will be. But even if it weren't, the window for it will have closed regardless, it will be a non-factor. So anyway, yeah, I do need to actually ensure that it continues to be a non-factor after that window closes, so I'm gonna excuse myself now, so... 
You'll have a good night or day or whatever time it is for you, and hopefully you get some sleep unlike me. I'm not gonna sleep. Because I need to use what precious little time I have left to get this done. So I will see you very soon, I am sure. Bye bye. Also, bloodstained hype, I suppose. Can't end this off without mentioning that. <laughs>